I'm busy creating this post and I found this beautiful icon or element on Canva and I don't want to lose it. So I wanted to show you how to make sure that you don't lose your icons and you put them in folders that you can find them and tips that could help you with saving your icons when you're looking for them. The first thing, if you're searching for an element, you're going to go to elements and then you're going to search for a businesswoman, for example, or a building or a, whatever you're looking for. Canva is going to share with you photos, graphic videos, audio that matches that term that you've added on your search functionality. So if you're looking for a photo, you'd go photo. But if we are particularly looking for graphics today, if you click on graphics, then Canva is going to show you all of the graphics that match that search term that you've added there, including pro and free. So if you're using a free account, you don't want to be seeing icons that you can't use or you can't afford. You can click on the settings and then you get more functionality that you could filter and apply to your specific need. So you can let Canva know, I just want to see orientation of square, vertical or whatever, or scroll down and look for either static or animated. Or you could also, especially with photos, you could look for just cut out only and then it takes away the background. And this is the part we're looking for, where you're looking for either free or pro. Then you can select just free icons and then you click on apply filters and you get that one over there that shows you have filtered with one option. And Canva will then show you all of the graphics that match that term that you've written there. And then you can pick and choose and it's showing just free icons that you can work with. So if you found the one that you want to work with, you click on it once and then it loads it on your canvas that you're busy working on and that you're busy designing. Immediately when you load it, Canva will recommend magic recommendations for you. In other words, the one that you've selected, they will show you similar icons or similar designs of what you've selected so that it helps you with more selections of what you, it, it sort of like preempts what you want and then it shows you very similar of what you have selected already. And then if you don't want any of the magic recommendations, that's fine. And you just carry on searching or working with the one that you've selected. So the one that you've selected, you love it, you want to keep it and you want to use it in future. You don't want to search for it three months from now, you're going to forget what you searched for three months ago. So the way that you would save this icon is the first way is to click on it and then you can scroll down and you select start. On your start, you can load this icon that you've, you're working on or that you like. These are the icons that I've started that, I've, that I love that I've saved. So how you put it on the start you're going to click on this eye and then you're going to scroll down to star and you click star. The minute you star your icon, it will be loaded on the start as you see over there. And when you need it in future, you just go to star and you go find it there. That's one way. The other way, you put it on a folder. So you could click and add a folder and then on that folder, you then add all of your favorite elements. I have a, a folder that I've created that's called Fave Elements, and I just add it to that folder, and then it's added there, and then I can find it in future when I want it. If you want more of the same kind, of the same designer that has created the icon or the element that you like, you again click on the I, and then you click on the name because it would show you view more by the designer. Then when you select that, Canva will show you all of the designs that this designer has done. We still have that free application over there that is still on there. If you take it away, they will show you 
all of his designs that are also pro and then you can select and view and use as you please the last way that i want to show you is if you click on the info i and you scroll to the bottom and you say see more like this when you select see more like this then it takes you to the magic recommendation and it shows you more of the design that you've selected thanks for joining me on this tutorial i'm busy creating a canva course if you would like to know as soon as it's ready go to learnwithzart.com add your email address i will notify you when the course is ready i will see you on the next video mm -hmm.